Hey YouTube, how's it going? Got some very exciting news today. My first AK-47 arrived at my FFL and I went and picked it up after work. It's by Riley Defense and I'm new to this platform. This is my first AK. I got it at Bud's Gun Shop online and I got all the accessories, ammo, magazines for it on grabagun.com because they're considerably cheaper than Bud's Gun Shop. This is actually the first item I've ordered from Bud's Gun Shop. But anyways, let's get into it. So, in the description it said it came with a Tapco mag. This is obviously in 7.62x39. It's a 30 rounder. So that's nice. I got a couple of Magpul P mags for it, and I actually did get one Tapco mag as well. So let's take the plastic off of here. See how it looks. Oh wow. I love the teak wood. It's beautiful. You can actually still smell the stain on it. The only accent on here that isn't wood is the grip, which is plastic, but I mean it looks pretty good to me still. Still got the chamber flag in it. So bear with me. This is my first AK, so I'm not really familiar with the platform. Looks like we got the windage adjustment here, possibly. Alright, yeah. I was looking for an AK in, uh, I don't know, like 600 to $700 tops price range, and I did a lot of research. And pretty much the only thing I could find in this price point was Century Arms and Riley Defense. So I did research on both of the companies and I heard lots of bad things about Century Arms. They don't have good quality control, it's not made in America, and everything I read about this gun by Riley Defense was just great. I didn't hear a single negative thing, and yeah, I think they just put a lot of quality work and pay attention to details and turns out to be a great product. This is actually the Riley Defense RAK47 Classic with the teak wood stock and grip up here. Let's put a mag in there and see how it rocks in. You guys can see this. Oh yeah. And that's, that's it. Not really sure what all this other stuff does yet. I believe this is the safety right here. It's obviously the bolt. And I actually bought a mount on Amazon to mount a red dot sight to this, but I'm going to see how the iron sights work on it first. But it's a quick detach mount, so even if I want to switch from the iron sights to the red dot sight, it'll just take a matter of seconds. It even comes with a little sling mount right here. So after shipping on Bud's Gun Shop, it was about $680. So not too bad for how high quality of a gun it is. I heard great reviews about it. But the only thing is it doesn't appear to have come with the user's manual. But you can probably look that up online always nice to have for disassembly and cleaning procedures and everything, but I do a lot of research on YouTube, so I'm sure that should be fairly easy to figure out on YouTube. But yeah, I'm going to take it shooting this Sunday. I just wanted to show you guys the unboxing video to it. And like I said, you can still smell the stain on there. It smells really good. My dad actually refinishes furniture and stuff, so... I've kind of grown accustomed to this smell of stain. <laughs> Some people would probably say it doesn't smell very good. But here's one of the, the Magpul P mags compared to the Tapco mag. Just to give you a little difference. Let's see how that rocks in. Hmm. There we go. A little bit trickier, but... They did say when I bought this gun that 
it was compatible with all 76 2 by 39 AK magazines. So, like this. Okay. That one seems to snap in a little better, but let me try this one again. Oh, yeah, no problem. So, yeah, it's a great quality gun for the price point. I didn't hear a single bad thing out of all the research I did on it. And Sentry Arms sounds like they don't do very good quality control. And like I said, it's American made. It's made in North Carolina by Riley Defense. And yeah, my first AK-47. I'm really excited to take it shooting this weekend. And I'll have lots of footage to show you guys. We actually got some. Bear with me here. We got some fire extinguishers that we're going to shoot. Probably shoot one with my AR and the full one with my AK. And yeah, I haven't done that yet, so I'm sure that'll make a good video. But yeah, I might even make a video here in the next day or so after I mount the the optic mounter to it which it just slides into these rails right here and it comes up one half of it and then you can attach a red dot sight or a scope to it so I'll be interested to see how that works I actually got that on Amazon for pretty cheap it was actually a combination pack it came with the mount and a red dot sight and it was only $33 so kind of skeptical to how good the quality on it's going to be but we'll see now I only see one blemish on here, there's just a little kind of chipped piece of wood right there, but that's not a big deal. I could actually fix that up fairly easily on my own, I have lots of woodworking experience, so, but yeah, definitely satisfied with this and can't wait to take it shooting. Thanks for watching my video, hit the bottom right hand symbol to subscribe at the end of the video and give it a like and I'll be having more videos coming up real soon. Thank you and have a good night.